Hello, this is Vino, and um, you've probably heard of me before. Um, I have done like one or two interviews. I'm here to discuss the structural resonance inside human beings. Structural resonance. What is the structural resonance? I do and am currently working on a piece, a, on, and some of them are already on the website. Uh, Destiny Universe, uh, so you can go check it out there, but uh, here is a more vocal presentation of what is the structural resonance. So, let's continue. What is the structural resonance? The structural resonance is <laughs> the system inside human beings as what they have accepted and allowed themselves to become. First, let's get the definitions in place so that you are able to understand what it is I'm exactly talking about as I'll continue in explaining the structural resonance within and as human beings as what they have accepted and allowed themselves to become. Okay, let's start at the beginning. We have the Anunnaki. Now the Anunnaki race, and along with many other races as well, were responsible for the design and the development of the human physical body. The human physical body in essence was designed as a vessel to enslave dimensional beings on this three-dimensional earth plane, manifested existence. Why slaves? Earth, as we know it now, existed much differently. And Earth possessed the element which is called gold. And the Anunnaki's, the Anunnaki race's city was made and consisted only of gold. So, the ultimate reason for the development of man, the human physical body, and then the dimensional beings within such a vessel that was designed was to become slaves. To dig out gold for the Anunnaki so they may use it to continue expanding their city of gold. Literally speaking. Um, so the human physical body was designed in the image and likeness of nature, earth. The human physical body's design, in essence, works exactly as the plants, the trees, flowers, nature in its entirety. And yet, that which inhabits the physical body, meaning that which makes the physical body work, the life essence of the physical body, would be who you are. That when you die, you leave your physical human body. You, it's really like a breath. And you're out. And your physical body is left behind. But the question would also be, why does it work that way? Why is it not that we are... Is it that, does it work that way because we've allowed ourselves to separate ourselves from our, from our human physical body? Has anyone maybe ever considered that? Why is it that we are the life essence of the physical body? Is the body really just a vessel? No. But yet, if you believe it to be, then it will be so. It will manifest so. So all of humanity collectively, at this very moment, since the beginning, since the human physical form has been developed, are still believing themselves to be separate from their human physical body. I mean, separation in existence have existed for aeons of time, please. Not only now. I'd say now only that dimensional beings, including human beings, are starting to realize, but hey, 
there's something else. There must be something else. I'm not going to use say something greater or anything like that because that would cause another conflict of separation and that's not what I'm here to do. What I'm here to com communicate to you about is a structural resonance, what you've accepted and allowed yourself to become. And that structural resonance within you is that which is currently separating you from your human physical body in the realization that you're actually one with your human physical body. Why? I'm going back to the beginning again. Human physical form was developed as a vessel, empty vessel, okay? Um, dimensional beings were placed in this vessel to become the life force of the vessel, the human physical body. Systems were placed into this vessel which fused the dimensional being in the vessel with the vessel as the human physical body. So it, it became a relationship binder. So you had your dimensional being okay, placed into the human physical body. So dimensional being into the human physical body. The human physical body was the vessel that was designed. A dimensional being was placed in the vessel to become the life force of the vessel. And then those systems were placed in to bind the two together and lock them in. But not only that, the systems were also designed in such a way to be programmed, to be programmable, so that the dimensional beings that were placed inside these human physical body as vessels would not remember their origin, but become and perceive and believe themselves to be these systems that were placed inside the human physical body that amalgamated the dimensional being with the human physical body as one. And to also not have the dimensional beings be aware from the perspective that under them are actually transforming them into slaves to dig out gold from this earth plane for their city inside the dimensions, for their gold city. So that's the origin of human beings. Dimensional beings as a life force of a human physical body as a vessel with the systems inside fusing the two together as one to enslave. This is Spino. I'll continue my next interview. Thanks.